Hello everyone, it's my great pleasure and privilege to welcome you all for my presentation. My topic of presentation is ICH. This ICH stands for International Conference on Harmonization. Myself, Dr. Priyadrishini, I am working as an assistant professor at Faculty of Pharmacy, BN University, Udaipur, Rajasthan. The learner's objective of my topic are Introduction to ICH, Objectives of ICH, Goal of ICH, and what is the location of ICH, that is ICH locations, members of ICH, structure of ICH, as well as ICH operations, ICH categories, and the implementation of ICH guidelines. Point number one, introduction. The term ICH, that is the International Conference on Harmonization is a technical requirement for the registration of pharmaceutical which has been utilized for the human use. This ICH, it is a unique project that brings together the regulatory authorities as well as the research-based representatives of European Union, Japan, United States and experts of these three regions. ICH was been established in the year 1990 as a joint initiative which involves both regulators as well as an industrial persons. In ICH, scientific and technical discussions are done on the basis for the testing procedure, requirement for ensuring as well as access of safety, quality and efficiency of all the medicines. Point number two is objectives. Here, to increase the international harmonization of technical requirements for ensuring the safety, effectiveness and high quality medicines, the ICH has made the recommendations on different ways to achieve the great harmonization and the interpretation and as well as the application of technical guidelines, requirements for the product registration in order to reduce or obviate the need of duplication of the testing which has been carried out during research and developments of the new medicines. This objective of ICH is to harmonize more economical use of human, animal and material resources. Point number three is goal of ICH. Here the goal of ICH is to strengthen the capacity of drug regulatory authorities and industries to utilize them. How? It has been utilized by promoting the international harmonization by bringing together the representatives of these three regions that is of Japan, EU that is European Union and United States. Next an important goal is to discuss and establish common guidelines. Third goal is to make the information available on ICH for everyone, to promote the natural understanding of re regional initiatives. Next point is the ICH location. The ICH is secretariat is based in Geneva, that is in Switzerland. The Binal meeting and conferences which is held in by ICH steering committee is rotated between these three regions that is in the European Union, United States and Japan. Point number five is members of ICH. ICH is comprised of six ICH parties that are directly involved as well as three ICH observers and IFPMA. The six parties are the founder members of ICH which represents the regulatory bodies and the research-based industry in the European Union, Japan and USA. The six parties are, first is Euro European Commission, that is European Union, EU, then European Federation of Pharmaceutical Industries and Association, that is EFPIA, Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare Japan, MHLW, Japan Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association, that is JPMA, then US, that is United States Foods and Drug Administration, USFDA, and sixth one is Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America, that is PHRMA. In Japan, the members are, that is MHLW, Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare, 
Japan Pharmaceutical Manufacturing Associations that is JPMA and in European Union the European Federation of Pharmaceutical Industry and Association that is EPFIA and in US, US is for United States FDA that is Food and Drug Administration, Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America that is PHRMA and as well as apart from these members there are again the additional members which are observers from WHO that is World Health Organization, the European Free Trade Association that is EFTA, Canada represents at ICH by Health Canada, ICH observers represent non-ICH countries and regions. The additional members are IFPMA that is International Federation of Pharmaceutical Manufacturers and Association is a non-profit non-governmental organization that is NGO representing national industry association and companies from both developed as well as developing countries. This IFPMA has been closely associated with the ICH that is International Conference on Organization since its inception to ensure contact with the research based industry outside the ICH regions. Now this IFPMA provides the ICH secret rate over here. And next point is the structure of ICH. In the structure of ICH there are ICH secret rates, ICH training committee, ICH coordinators and ICH working groups. First is ICH secret rate. These secret rates operate from IFPMA offices in Geneva and primarily which is concerned with the preparations for documentation of the meetings of steering committee as well as for coordinating preparation of working groups that is effective working group, informal working groups as well as implementation working groups and the discussion of these groups as well as group meetings. And this ICS steering committee, this is an administered by ICS steering committee which is supported by ICS secret rate. This ICS steering committee which is called as SC uh, was established in 1990 when ICH was been initiated. The steering committee, the working with ICS terms of reference determining the policies, procedures for ICH depending upon the selection of the topics for the harmonization as well as monitoring the process and the monitoration of the harmonized initiative has been taken place by the ICS steering committee. The steering committee meet at least twice a year with the location rotating between these three regions. This ICS steering committee is a structure and participation. This existing steering committee structure continues to be appropriate in this interest the great transparency of steering committee however welcomes the appropriate participation of other interested parties and is very much flexible to ad hoc manner on the topics which is required for the effective implementation and which has been affected by them. Next point is ICH coordinators. Here the ICH coordinators are the fundamental persons for the smooth running of ICH and has been designated by each of the six co-sponsors as well as ICH coordinators to act on the main contact point with the ICH secret rate and ensures the ICH documentation that is ICH documents are distributed and to an appropriate person within the specific area of their responsibilities. Next point is ICH working groups. In this ICH working groups there are three groups that is expert working groups which stands for EWG. Next is implementation working group that is IWG and informal working groups are there. Next point is global cooperation. The steering committee recognizes the need to expand its communication and disseminate the information with non-ICH parties. Here the new or the more active involvement of World Health Organization through these regional centers are extremely welcomed over here and there are new ways of working together. There is a need to explore alternative approaches of traditional ICH model of effective working groups particularly in the area where constantly changing scientific information has been identified and there is a need for working on them for the harmonization. 
next point is ICH operations. Now in this case ICH operations, ICH operations through steering committee with administrative support of ICH secretary and ICH coordinators has been done. The steering committee meet at least twice a year and during these meetings new topics will be considered for the adoption. Reports are received on the progress of existing topic as well as maintenance and implementation of guidelines are discussed over here. And these topics are properly identified and harmonized by the steering committee and are selected for the quality, safety and efficiency. And in this, there are different kinds of steps and these steps are been carried out by expert working groups, conformational work, uh, expert working groups, regulatory requirements, adoption of ICH as well as implementation of ICH guidelines. Now, as a stepwise manner, here the steps of ICH procedures are being prepared over here. The drafts are prepared and circulated through the many revisions for the final harmonized draft and has been completed by these people. Step number two, the draft has been signed by effective working group and agreed upon the draft and forwarded to the steering committee for signing and uh, signifies the acceptance for consultation of the six co-sponsor parties. And third groups is nothing but the regulatory requirement. Here it has been uh, required by the steering committee to agree the scientific change which has been discussed by the technical matters and the endorsement of such a matter is based on the signature from this three regulatory parties of ICH affirming that the guidelines which has been recommended are adopted by the regulatory bodies of these different regions and fourth that is nothing but the adoption. In this uh, area the adoption is been done and finally after adoption step number five is nothing but the implementation. The process is completed when the guidelines are incorporated into the national or regional internal procedures and the implementation is done in the ICH three basically re regions that is EU, Japan and United States. Next point is the ICH categories. Here the ICH topics are divided into four major categories and ICH topic codes are assigned according to these categories like Q stands for quality topics, S stands for safety, E is for efficiency topics and M is for multidisciplinary. The ICHQ guidelines that is quality topics are those that is related to chemical and pharmaceutical quality assurance that is stability testing, impurity testing. Safety topics are related to the in vitro and in vivo preclinical studies like carcinogenicity study, genototoxic study and etc. Effective topics are those related topics related to clinical studies in human subjects that is dose response studies, good clinical practices and multidisciplinary topics that are cross cutting topics which is do not fit uniquely into one of the above categories that is MET DRA. ESTRI, M3, CTD and M5. Next is the quality guideline starts from Q1 to Q10. Then safety guideline starts from S1A to S9. Efficiency guideline start from E1 to E15. And next is multidisciplinary guideline starts from M1 to M5. The implementation of ICH guidelines finally the implementation of ICH in future plays the most important role and the implementation is done by continuation of harmonized activities as well as implementation and monitoring. Uh, again and again for a time being the monitoring has been required that is properly the ICH guidelines are been implemented and the implementation is as per the requirement and the selection of new topics are required for the harmonized activities. Last but not least is thank you very much for your patience and if you have any doubt or any queries you can write in the comment box and I will be very happy to answer you all. Thank you. Thank you all.